Ten. All right, Lee, and it smells great over here. I'm uh, with uh, Chris Coleman, the chef there from Stoke, Charlotte. Uh, thanks for being here. Appreciate it, Thank chef. Thank you. Appreciate it. You've been it. here before. So I have. You know the routine. We, we like great tasting food, and it really smells fantastic. Well, good. Here, so. I, I hope we can make some great tasting food. All right. Tell us a little bit about Stoke yeah. first. Sure. So um, Stoke is located inside the Charlotte Marriott City Center mm -hmm. at Trade and Tryon in Uptown Charlotte. Uh, we opened August of 2016. Okay. Um, so we're celebrating our second Christmas uh, in Charlotte. Okay. And you've um, been there since the opening. I right? have. Yes. I have. Yes. Yeah. All right. How long have you been a chef for? When, when uh, oh, shoot. I've been a chef uh, for about 15 years. Started at McNench House, opened the Asbury. Uh, and then moved to Marriott to open Stoke. So, okay, good. Yeah. Okay, well, congratulations yeah, to you. So, it. What, what we got tonight? Because holiday season. Holiday right? season. Uh, Christmas is, I think, five or six days away now. Um, and and holidays mean tradition, and they mean comfort food. Um, and one thing that a lot of us grew up eating was candy yams mm -hmm. around Thanksgiving and Christmas. And yeah. I love candy yams, but they're a little too sweet sometimes. So we kind of wanted to do our take on it, something that was sweet and a little savory. So okay. we're doing sweet potatoes that are glazed with burnt honey and some chilies and some thyme. Oh, wow. um, so that's, that's uh, interesting. we have sweet potatoes here that we uh, peeled. You know, North Carolina is the largest uh, producer of sweet potatoes in the country. I did not know um, that. Okay. And we're doing something called a Hasselback. Um, so a Hasselback is where you're going to cut through the potato but not all the way through. Right. You can see we're leaving you know a lot of it there okay. connected to the bottom. So it's called Hassel, why is it, what, Hasselbeck. What, why is that? Uh, I think Matt Hasselbeck's a big... No, I'm joking. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> I really I honestly don't know why it's called okay, Hasselbeck. But all right. It's kind of all the rage. If you look at Pinterest right now, like these home cooks are Hasselbecking everything. Okay. Um, <laughs> come on in, Lee. What the heck? Lee's, um, Lee's over there coming in. Come so, in. so we have our, our Hasselbeck sweet potatoes here. There's a little apple juice in the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna sprinkle over some butter. A good bit of butter. Mm, that's yeah, a good so bit it's of the butter. Holidays, so I mean, we can eat a little bit of extra hey, butter. Hey, let it go. Let it go. It's know, holidays. We all work out in January. And it's some brown sugar. Brown light brown sugar. sugar. Light brown I've sugar. I've seen dark brown sugar. That's light brown light sugar. Light brown sugar. Damn. You called it. Thank you. Thank you. A little Lee. salt. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then all you want to do is lightly cover in foil. Mm -hmm. Pop into the oven. 350 degrees? 375. <laughs> 375. Oh, I, 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 I know. Real close. <laughs> um, always on the 350. About, about 45 minutes or so, okay. um, they'll come out nice and soft and roasted. Okay. Um, and you want them to be cooked all the way through, but not mushy. Um, right, yes. So then uh, one thing that we're adding to these um, is we're glazing these in the burnt honey. So this is a local honey. Okay. It starts out really light in color, and we just let it go mm. really low mm -hmm. uh, for about an hour and a half, and it caramelizes. An and hour and a half? Yeah, and you it, got, wow. you watch really, that really low. you got to watch it because yeah. it'll burn really quickly. Right. Um, once these sweet potatoes come out of the oven, we're going to transfer them to a plate. So how often do you stir that if it's an hour and a half? Do you have to let it go. Um, I mean, okay. check on it every, you know, 15 minutes or so to make sure you're not burning. Mm -hmm. um, but otherwise, it just kind of goes on its own. All right. Uh, if it's over low heat. Take them out, and then you're going to pour Take that magical. Out. That's going to be delicious, mm. I think. So that's, then, the, that's the kicker. I think Delaney seen me do this or something. <laughs> um, we mix all the, the drippings. Oh, so that's okay. apple juice, butter, the sweet potato juices. And you can kind of see it bubble up. Mm -hmm. um, so we've made a really quick little honey caramel here All right. that we're going to pour over. Mm. Boy, that looks delicious. And you kind of want to let this sit up for five or ten minutes before you dig in. No, mm -hmm. I don't think we do. <laughs> Zach's, well, looking at, Zach's looking at it like that. That caramel looks delicious. will harden, mm -hmm. oh. uh, and it kind of creates this chewy oh. consistency. Mm. Okay. Sprinkle a little thyme over it. These are Aleppo chili flakes. You got which about is, 30 seconds to go. Sure, just kind mm -hmm. of a fruity... Slight, slightly spicy chili flake you can get from Savory Spice Shop. Mm -hmm. um, we love them. We put them on everything. But again, this is mostly things besides the Aleppo mm -hmm. that most home cooks already have in their pantry. Should home, I taste so something? Go real for quick? it, man. Can I, can I do this? Is it too yeah. hot right now? Are we go. Uh, is it going to burn our tongue? Be careful. Okay. Let's try. Oh, you burn your tongue. Let's test it out. That is delicious. But it's yeah, no, it's simple. It's sweet potato with Quickly. honey. It's it's butter and brown sugar. That's nice. Very well done. Chef, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Stoke Charlotte is located at Marriott Center City on 100. Uh, you see, do we have the information up there or do we do it already? Okay. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon. <laughs>